RG123 and you are my humble viewers, uh, like, comment, subscribe uh, and you know generally do all that stuff that makes my channel more and more popular, that'd be awesome. This video is going to be a little bit of a long one but as you can see I'm trying to talk really 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 fast. Uh, I just had a, a conversation with my dad, about a 45 minute conversation, uh, because we were just happened to be watching Life by David Attenborough on the Discovery Channel and yes I am a nerd and I love all that kind of stuff. Um, and we were discussing what the next evolutionary step will be, the next significant one, because there's always evolution happening at the moment, and though you don't know it, or you might not know it, evolution is constantly occurring. Of course it is. Animals adapt to every environment they go to. Um, the, probably the next evolutionary step in us, in humans, won't be anything like growing an extra limb for climbing or anything like that, because we can just to solve that with our brains. So, um, for example, we don't worry about the cold, because we've got central heating. So uh, that won't be at that. So it'll be social, it'll be... Uh, something to do with the brain, it'll be it'll, it'll be interacting with other people, that's how we'll evolve, but anyway, leave that, because that's not what I wanted to discuss. The next proper and uh, more sophisticated way of evolving, I think, um, and my dad kind of agrees with me on this one, is this will happen in millions and millions of years' time, um, and I always think that life will always flourish, but then again, let's leave that. Um, and I do think that the next evolutionary step will be that plants will gain consciousness that means they will not have some kind of brain or nerve system but they will each link with each other now um, this does seem a little bit far-fetched and it does seem a bit a bit a little bit mother earth Gaia crap but think about it rationally for a second so say it starts off with uh, one plant a massive tree you uh, picture Pand picture the uh, planet Pandora in Avatar and picture the massive tree in the center of that now that massive tree is interconnected with all these little other plants on that pl planet, is it not? By that little, you know, the stuff that lights up when they uh, walk on the ground. Um, now imagine that on Earth, and this massive tree starts growing, and it grows and it grows, and plants by it live for hundreds of years, because this tree is massive, and plants learn that instead of getting all the nutrients from the soil that this plant is stealing, because this plant takes a lot, this tree takes a lot, I mean, it's, it's big, it's got to have all these nutrients and water, instead of doing that, they instead evolve little parasitic shoots that go into the roots of the, of the tree and steal some of the nutrients and uh, in doing that they become parasites they become more and more animalistic um, and with that they uh, can then use those parasitic little nodules and they may or may not they may connect to other plants and by connecting to other plants they can send chemical signals through these plants and they can say look what I found look what I found Obviously this is hypothetical, they won't say look what I found, look what I found, they'll say chemical signals. Now this won't happen with just one plant, this will happen with many, 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 many plants, because that's how evolution works. And they will all, sitting around the basis of this tree, work out that that's the best thing to do. Again, hypothetical, plants can't actually work out anything, they're just there for, to uh, make stuff for themselves. So, all these parasitic plants will be intertwined. And then what happens is the tree, over millions and millions of years of getting pissed off with this, although not actually pissed off because it's just hypothetical, just remember all that, if I'm going a bit too fast and stop me, you can't, because you are, and of course you press the pause button. I'm sorry about this, it, it will make sense. So this plant, the massive tree, hypothetically gets annoyed. And over millions and millions of years it says, okay, okay, alright, you can steal these nutrients from me, right? And you do realise, I can cut off these nutrients. I've got many, 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 many other roots underneath the ground that you can't get to, right? So I can just cut off these nutrients and you'll all die because you share the same consciousness, these same, sh same chemical signals. So what you've got to do for me is either I cut off the nutrients or you can have some of my nutrients, but you've got to tell me when danger is approaching or you've got to tell me when a good time to put my leaves up or take them down is. And so the plants go, okay then, hypothetically, over millions and millions of years. And then what we happen to find is a consciousness. Because what happens, and here's the fantastically smart bit, what happens is every single time, say, a bear steps on one of the parasitic plants, a chemical signal races through all the plants saying, right, there's something big in the vicinity, it just killed some of our br uh, brothers, uh, we've now got to close up your leaves, um, take all the nutrients in to make sure that you don't get trodden on, and if you do get trodden on, it won't be too bad because you'll still survive, sort of. And the tree gets all these signals and goes, right, okay, it's sorted, I'll increase nutrients to you guys, you can all live and thereby saving them and keeping the whole symbiotic thing intact. Now that's just warning of danger, so there's like a, it worked with loggers and things like that as well, but also 
if there was an approaching frost, it would work like that, so it kills some plants and says, oh crap, there's frost coming, it's winter, um, um, okay, everything, get your nutrients inside you and you lose your leaves because there's not going to be any point and they can prepare themselves for winter. But what if one plant senses rain and a drop of rain just falls on one leaf and goes, it's raining, right, get all your leaves out, get all your leaves out right now, and it sends that chemical signal all the way through the plants, and so thereby creating the plant conscious, and then other plants cut onto this, and they start evolving sort of parasitic things as well, and so you get the whole world over, there's a conscious plant community, not with brains, nerves, or cells, well, cells obviously, not with brains or nerves, but with a kind of conscience sent by chemical signals, and I do believe that would be the next uh, evolutionary step in our system. Oh, right, I'm going to have a sit down. I'm going to sit down. It really work. Uh, I'm going to have a lie down because that took a, took a lot out of me. Basically, uh, to summarise it up, I do think the next evolutionary step will not be in animals because they just adapt, but they'll in fact be in plants and they'll uh, create some sort of consciousness as in uh, Avatar. So basically, look at the movie Avatar. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for viewing this. I'll be making another one like, quite like this soon because me and my dad talked about a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm not sure about how much time I've got left in this video, but I will um, speak to you guys soon. Uh, like I said at the beginning, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment to say, do you like this? Because I might do some more of these kind of thing. Um, I've also got to ask you, would you like me to start doing gaming on my PC? Because I'd quite like to start doing that sort of thing. Uh, leave me a comment with that. Um, make sure to enter my competition, go to my channel and look up its competition time. It's a video called Competition Time. Uh, just follow all that. And um, thank you very much guys. And uh, leave me your responses what I'll be our, our next evolutionary step okay I'll see you later guys bye